At five, those on Santa's naughty list still want presents, and they are looking for some new ways to steal yours. Yeah, police around the country are seeing the return of porch pirates and those holiday thefts. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo rode along with officers today. She is joining us live with more on what they saw. Audrey. Well, tis the season. We saw a ton of delivery drivers like that UPS truck over there out on our ride along today. He's locked and loaded and ready to go. A lot of delivery drivers dropping off tons of packages, but not too many porches that looked ready to receive them. Waterbury police tell me that so far this year, they haven't seen anyone install those locking boxes to help keep parcels safe. All in all, they say it's a little bit of prevention that goes a long way. I am a sergeant for the Waterbury Police Department, currently assigned to community relations. You guys probably brace yourselves for this, you know, every year. We have a fully staffed detective bureau with a, you know, a unit that's dedicated specifically for burglaries that they handle all of these thefts. This crime of opportunity is evolving. It's mostly areas where there's a lot of foot traffic. Sergeant Brian Grudzian says suspects are getting smarter, covering their faces to hide from all the surveillance cameras we passed during our ride along which is why he recommends documenting the serial number on expensive deliveries. We work a lot with the pawn shops. That's a lot of the times how we'll end up getting these, these items recovered. Delivery drivers are also becoming a target. Why snag one box when you can tail the whole truck? But I know that that trend is on the rise. As a delivery driver, you're going all around in different ways throughout the city. So if someone's following you, they're doing it for a reason. Even if you forego the delivery experience for an in-person shopping spree, Grudzian says thefts in shopping centers are also on the rise. Anything during the daytime hours is perfect, but if you have to shop at night, park underneath the street lights, anywhere that there's gonna be a camera that can capture your vehicle. Easy to get a false sense of security near a store, but even three rows into the parking lot. I would say we're probably out of the view of the camera right now. Whether your valuables are on a porch or in a shopping plaza, Waterbury police say situational awareness is the key. Don't be an easy target and have a safe, happy holiday shopping season. Now, some states are cracking down. Texas, Oklahoma, Michigan, all within the last couple of years, have introduced bills specifically targeting package thieves, creating stricter punishments. In Connecticut, it's all considered larceny. The value of the stolen goods determines whether or not the thief is charged with a misdemeanor or a low-level felony. Live in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Audrey, thank